Hello! Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Girls Drink Beer. I'm Danielle. And I'm Stina. I don't know what camera to look at. We've never recorded with this camera before. Well, we have, but... Oh no, we have no, not actually. Is, we have an, I have a new phone. Ah, there you go. Yes. Look at that. So it's all new. What are we drinking today, Christina? Today we are drinking Broad Street Spiked Seltzer Pink Guava from Bolero Snort Brewing. Well, we're going to see. <laughs> I'll pour it. This is our second seltzer that we're doing on the channel. Ever. Ever. We actually visited 902 Brewing not too long ago, and it's a lovely place. You should go and visit. Yes, it's wonderful. My... Surprise 30th birthday was there. No, Bolero was at the surprise. I'm saying 902. We went to 902 for the wedding oh, thing. Oh, that's right. Yes, we went there for, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, so we've, we've been uh, we've been getting out and about and going to uh, breweries. We've been to our fair share. So it doesn't really say, think broadly, drink locally. It's 100 calories. It's 4.5% alcohol by volume. Do it you, smells like guava. Do you care to comment? It's a beautiful, beautiful, summery pink and green can. I feel like this is a very like common, uh, just regular metal can that you find at these micro brews, but it has a beautiful, yeah. beautiful label. Really catches the eye. And I guess, oh, this is a... Uh, this must be the stadium, and that must be the like oh. skyline. So that's why maybe it's Broad Street. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It looks it looks very nice, but let's let's give this. It it smells like guava. It smells like guava and like cough syrup. <laughs> Not cough syrup. Um, like the vitamin C, the emergency. Mm -hmm. That's what it makes me think of. All right, you ready? Yep. What? You have some feelings. I can tell. It's nice and crisp. It's definitely nice and crisp. You get a nice seltzery feel to it. It's not my favorite seltzer. It doesn't have a strong guava taste. No, it doesn't really have a strong anything taste. Taste, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the fruity taste is very very light on this. I thought it was gonna taste more, more guava, more fruity. I thought it would have more of a flavor. Well, it's interesting because a lot of these seltzers have different like types of sugar in them, so. Like your White Claws and your Trulies, I believe that they are, the, the alcohol is actually made from sugar. Okay. Um, this one, it says, con contains alcohol beer. Oh, so there is beer in this. So I don't know. That's Let me see. what it says on the side. Contains alcohol beer. Maybe they, <laughs> like, um, like saying it in a different way would uh, make it sound different. Alcohol, AKA beer. Beer. Okay. It's not bad. I don't think that it's bad. So this isn't a beer where you can like drink, all, you can split a six pack with a person. I don't know. I usually like to throw back quite a few seltzers over yeah. like the course of a day. But I don't know if I would do this. I think this is more of like a one and done kind of thing. Gotcha. Okay. Activity and food. I feel like I want to go outside and play like cornhole. That's a nice summertime game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's... May 31st today, so, yeah, when, happy, when we're recording. Happy this. Memorial Day, everyone. Yes. I could get behind that. I feel like this is a good barbecue beer. It's not a beer. It's a barbecue, <laughs> it's a good barbecue seltzer. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I can, I mean, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's not knock your socks off good, yeah. which is what the first thing we had from Bolero. Yeah, you that know, was knock our socks that off That was good. 10 out of 10 good. Yeah. This isn't bad. Not bad. No. no. Are we going to rate this? Yeah. Or did we talk about what food we would have with this? Oh, You know what? What? Coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> we just ordered food and I didn't eat my coleslaw. Um, but I feel like that's a barbecue food. And if you're just like picking little bits here and there, I'd rather coleslaw over like my macaroni salads. Or your potato salads. Yeah, I'd rather coleslaw. Yeah. Especially if it's a warmer day. I think coleslaw is a little bit more crisp and refreshing. Okay, I will go along with your barbecue salads that are not technically salads. Um, I want to say macaroni salad, but not the kind made with mayo. I need like the like oils and vinegars and like the yes. Like, have you ever had like when they make like tortellini salad? Yes, that's what I want. Like a tortellini salad with some mozzarella and a little bit of. Um, I got some of it in my eye. It doesn't sting. <laughs> So it's uh, tear resistant, I guess. Well, that's good. 
um, macaroni salad, total, I'm sorry, tortellini salad with some black olives and then little pieces of salami in it. Yes. I'd have that with this. I, they also make a coleslaw like that with vinegar instead of mayonnaise. Really? Yeah, it's not bad. I actually prefer it. Okay. Yeah, especially if it's warm, your mayo in the heat. Yeah, bleh. you're just like, bleh, bleh. Yeah, no. Bleh. Some people are just blit to mayo. Some people are just blit, period. <laughs> what are you going to do? So what is your rating on this? A 6.2. I'm going to say 6.1, Bob. Sorry, I was watching Prices Right before I came over. Really? I'm shocked that you went lower than me. Yeah, this is, it's okay, but it's not, not my favorite. Fair? It's, it's fine. It's fair. It gets, it's a seltzer. It's, it's okay. It gets the job done. Cheers. Check it out. Valero Snort Brewing, Broad Street, Spiked Seltzers, Seltzer. Pink Guava. <laughs>